Okay, so hopefully Lori sees this and we will get started. Okay, share screen. I have to do the wind call in the morning. So if you want to hop on that, that'd be fun to see you. I should be on there. Okay, this is what I want. Let's see right here. Okay, so just because I've got it pulled up right here, I was kind of trying to, at the beginning, I'm trying to put a plug in for the drawing for anybody who stays on, um, who's live on camera, then we'll do a drawing for the people who are there. And so I was saying, we we're so excited you guys stayed to check out our drawing, our information about the upcoming economic habit challenge. Oh, that's all. I'm playing a video for them. I just don't know how much time, like, you know how it like goes to, I guess it's just undecided. What should I do about that? Because you were suggesting for me to play one of the videos, right? Oh, the doodly videos. Yeah. So what was your question? I just don't know if everybody is less than their time allotment, then we would be able to do it. But if not, then we won't. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then maybe I just say after, maybe I just do the drawing for the people who stayed after and then we'll talk about the atomic challenge. And then I'll say, anyone's free to go. Yeah. But we wanted to share for those who are looking into our program, a little video. Yeah. Are they like five minutes? I need to probably find out. Um, and which one should we do? It's not your fault? Yeah, I think so. All right. Okay, cool. So um, I've kind of already worked on mine. I don't know if we want to really run through it. If you guys, I was kind of mentioning that it would be a good idea to do that tonight. Maybe we can talk about wins and stuff and I'll give you guys a second to kind of like skim yours. Um, do, we have, do we have slides? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, we have the slideshow from last year. Yeah, where is that? What is it? Let's see. I know that right now it's back to share. Let me share it. Was it on Google? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, I'll put it in the chat. Okay, in which chat? Uh, August one. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. It's funny. I totally forgot about a PowerPoint. Totally forgot. Was this the one last year, Jen, that you didn't, that you missed? Uh, don't say that. I don't know. Well, I just, I remember there was one that you couldn't make. I couldn't remember if it was this one or a different one. Maybe it was a different one. I had like a whole script right now and I cannot find it. <laughs> I want to find it. You want to find what? I had a whole script that I had written from last time. Right here. Um, so down here at the bottom. But that's not, no, I had like oh, a full script. Hmm, well, maybe if you search. Yeah, I've searched my drive. I don't Oh, I'll, I'll keep searching. I don't remember if this was just my suggestion or if this is what I found from your script. I don't remember, but this is, Stephanie, if you would share this quote, at least by James Clear, I felt like it fits so well with what you're talking about. Oh yeah, for sure. And then Janelle for you. I don't, I don't think I had a quote. Okay, so dang it, I feel like I'm behind then. Should we work for a second within our own businesses and I can work on that? What should we do? I'm just uh, sure I'm trying to find it from last year, like in my Google. Yeah, me too. Okay. So just tell me if, are you guys okay on time for a sec then? Yeah. I mean, it's like bedtime here. Like my kids are still awake. So oh, you I can't stay like for an hour, but. I'd be all right for like half an hour. For you to hurry and put them, like how how long do you need for that? 
How do I need, how long do I need for what? For you to um, hurry and put them to bed and then come right back. Like, can you do it in 10 minutes or no? No, no. <laughs> it takes me like half an hour to put my kids to bed. <clears throat> I'm just saying I can't stay for like an hour. Yeah, yeah. It's That would be 10 o'clock at night, my time. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe it wasn't a Google thing we had last year. Michael, I'm in a meeting. Do you mind? God. Hey. I don't need to share my screen if we're doing this. Okay, and maybe I'm going to pause the recording too. Uh, okay. Resume. Okay, so Lori, we wanted to go through our script and stuff. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so when I do it, I'll probably have my notes printed, but for now, I don't. So, I'm is this going to kick us off, Jen? I don't know. Is it? Um. What time is We've it? been about a half hour, I think. 10 minutes. You think we can do it in 10 minutes or do we want to spend more time? No, we can probably do it. Okay. Okay, so um, we're going to do some housekeeping. I'm going to remind them to turn on the cameras and then we'll be going about 40 minutes and then to stay after for a fun drawing for the end and we'll share about Atomic Habits Challenge information and then we're excited to get started. So I am excited to be here. I'm Jen Walker. I spent the last 10 years helping busy moms like you collectively lose over 8,000 pounds. I don't know if I should really say that, like, but to let people know that we kind of do weight loss with people. Um, I also work with athletes to peak their performance through high level supplements and work with increased protein intake for those using medically supported weight loss to protect lean muscle and provide behavioral support. So our goal is to help you find structure, develop healthy habits, increase protein intake, and improve relationships with food. It's kind of repeated. I don't know if I'll do that. And then today we're, we're going to share practical tips about and strategies to help you create systems and healthy eat, have healthy eating be easier for you and your family and less overwhelming um, and helping you most importantly to be the best mom that you can be. So we have some topics and friends who will be sharing today. So we have Stephanie who will be sharing blood sugar balance and its impact on your energy levels. Did you know that? We didn't talk about energy. Uh, Lori, who will be talking about meal planning ideas for the family meal times. Janelle's gonna be um, doing our lunch boxing tips and ideas. And then I'll be sharing about picky eaters and shifting your mindset when cooking isn't your favorite. So we wanna share a couple questions. So please drop it in the chat. How do you guys feel when you choose to eat healthy? I'll just go over it slower. If it weren't for overwhelming, would you help your family make healthier choices? What are challenges when you don't prepare for meal times? I don't know if you guys have a better question. I'm happy to change that. Okay, so I would love to sh shift it over to Stephanie. Okay. Hold on a second. All right. So my name is Stephanie Brailsford and I'm married with four kids ages 19 to 12. Uh, so I've been working full time for the past five years. And one thing that I used to really struggle with was finding enough energy to be the mom that I wanted to be. I always felt like I had a depleted energy bank and I had to weigh my options with any activity I wanted to do with my family. Too often I felt so tired to, or too tired to do anything. It was frustrating, and so often I would finish work and just want to lay low for the evening. But two and a half years ago, I learned how to completely change my eating habits and how to balance my blood sugars. It was amazing that after four days, I immediately noticed a huge spike in my energy levels. And needless to say, I never looked back and have built healthy habits of eating to balance my blood sugars and fuel my body properly. Now I'm always excited to finish work and go hi biking, hiking, walking, swimming, and doing whatever fun activity my kids are up to. So let's talk about why timing matters and when it, when it comes to how we eat. 
why should we want to eat five to six times a day? There was a clinical study done by David Jenkins at the University of Toronto on low glycemic eating. He took two groups of people. They ate the same number of calories and the same foods. And this is important. They ate the same foods. One group ate three times a day and the other six small meals a day. The group that ate the six small meals, they lost more weight, they were less hungry, they reduced their cholesterol by 15% and reduced their blood insulin by 28%. So this is why timing is so important when you eat during the day. This chart shows what happens when you eat low glycemic meals five to six times throughout the day. And those meals are only going to spike the blood glucose and insulin right around your baseline. It's so important to do this for health. If you eat three high glycemic meals a day, you would experience huge blood glucose spikes every time you eat. Then what happens is the body has to pump in insulin to combat that, to bring them back towards the baseline. And this is really an unhealthy cycle. You want to try to keep your blood sugar steady and even. And this is why it's a huge key to energy levels. So on the next slide, combinations matter. We talked about eating five to six times a day, protein carb balance. A lot of times people think that they will have to get their protein from chicken or meat five, five to six times a day, but who really wants to do that? Protein comes from so many sources. And here are some examples. We have eggs, there's Greek yogurt, low fat cheese, nuts, the obvious fish, poultry, and meats, cottage cheese, beans, and sometimes people use pro protein mixes. So these are, these are all great protein sources that you can use throughout the day. A lot of times when you hear carbohydrates, you think of bread or rice, but carbohydrates also come from a lot of healthy choices. There's fruits and berries, vegetables, low carb tortillas, whole wheat toast, high fiber crackers, steel cut oats, or quinoa. So there are a lot of different things that you can use for your carbs. Fruit and vegetables won't spike your blood sugar as much as things like bread. So again, combination matters. I always teach my kids that each time you eat throughout the day to choose a protein and choose a carb and pair them for every meal. And one thing I'm a big believer in is portion controlled meal replacements. And the ones that we use with Optavia are already balanced for you. They have the proper amount of protein and carbohydrates. So it's an easy option for a healthy fueling. So now I'm gonna turn it over to Lori who's going to talk more about meal planning. So that's back okay. Sorry, my daughter was trying to talk to me. So uh, you said you're going to turn it over to Lori for meal planning. She'll go through this, this, and then this is great. Um, and then she'll talk about the systems and the five steps here with the 12 meal planning that will be included into the thing. And then Lori is going to pass it over to Janelle. who's going to talk about our stuff. All right, so hi, my name is Janelle Rodriguez and uh, I'm a very busy mom of three. I work full-time as a teacher and I'm also a health coach and um, I've lost 60 pounds and been able to teach my kids how to eat healthy. My husband lost a hundred pounds last year and we've been able to maintain that through just working really hard, kind of teaching our family how to eat healthy. So um, I really like this quote from Buddha. It says, to keep the body in good health as a duty Otherwise, we shall not be able to keep our minds strong and clear. So, you know, the more I'm here for myself, the more I'm here for my family and can teach them how to have good habits and create longevity. So that's been kind of the focus for me this past couple of years. So Dr. Anderson, we have a kind of a rule of thumb here for healthy eating. Um, it's called the, the quarter system. So you take a nine inch plate and you put a quarter of it needs to be grains, fruits, vegetables and proteins. And this is a good rule for our kids too. So they have a really well-balanced meal and parenting has a million possible moments that require grace. So my tip, I'm gonna give some pro tips in a bit here, but just remember to have grace with yourself and that this is a process and it takes time. You don't have to change everything at one time. I'm just gonna give you guys some tips today to get started. So um, I'm actually, this next slide, I have to take this out because I'm gonna move the pro tips to a different page. Okay. So um, I'm going to put a picture of here of Alyssa. So Alyssa, my daughter, this is a picture of her making her lunches this week. So I'm going to give you guys some tips 
to apply for you to make it super easy to lunch, uh, pack lunches with kids. Um, and we're going to give you these resources too. You're going to get a follow-up email. So we have everything here for you that you're going to get later, which is super awesome. So whole grains, I'll go over all that for the people. I'll go over all the fruits and vegetables, make it fun. Um, Pinterest has great little pictures that you can make, you know, the fruits and vegetables fun. Like for 4th of July, sometimes I'll do like red, white, and blue and they can do, um, like we might do little mini marshmallows with, oh my gosh, that's a cute thing for Santa too, for for Christmas, we do strawberries with grapes, little Santa hats, and then the um, little marshmallow on top with toothpicks. It's super cute. Um, and then proteins, I'll go over that. And then I'm going to give some pro tips such as just change one thing at a time. So first I might've worked on, you know, maybe which trying different vegetables my kids like, and now I have fresh cut vegetables with dinner. Um, you know, prepping the night before, you know, prepping weekends, um, things like that kind of helps things go a lot smoother for you. I'm going to show them some organizational tips. I'm going to go over to my fridge and show them. I'm going to show them that I bag up wash and I have things on our eye level that are ready in my fridge. And then also my little drawer of bento box stuff with those printouts to show them and have everything ready for them to see. And again, just, you know, I slowly started this. So give yourself some grace. So, oops, what did I do? Nothing, but I wanted to have oh. mention that this lunch boxing idea is right here. This link with 